Now in daybreak and first this morning, major story we continue to follow. Another person has been arrested in connection with a lengthy federal investigation into strip club owner Peter Gerais. This time it's an Amherst police detective who's been charged with lying to FBI agents. Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us from the newsroom this morning with the details. And Lauren, there have been a lot of arrests and indictments surrounding this complicated case. There is a lot to keep track of. Good morning. A veteran Amherst police detective, though, is now accused of not disclosing the extent of his relationship with strip club owner Peter Gerais to the FBI. A criminal complaint alleges that Detective Gregory Trotter lied to those federal agents when asked about his relationship with the owner of the Gentleman's Club, who was accused of corruption, bribery, drug trafficking, sex trafficking, and witness tampering. According to court documents, Detective Trotter told FBI agents in an interview last year that he didn't know Gerace that well and hadn't spoken to him for nearly five years. But the complaint contains dozens of text messages and phone call records between the two. Early on, the texts seem to illustrate what might have been a friendly relationship with Gerace inviting Trotter to holiday drinks and to golf in Ellicottville. Later on, the texts reveal that they were in communication about Gerace having his ex-girlfriend arrested over a stolen watch. That woman later became an informant to the FBI and then was allegedly assaulted by another friend of Gerace for, quote, talking to the feds. Now, the criminal complaint does not allege that Detective Trotter was the person responsible for that information getting back to Gerace, but this investigation is ongoing. The next hearing for Trotter's case is scheduled for December 20th. On your side in the newsroom this morning, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News Daybreak.